Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ina and today I will respond some of the most common questions about Phalaenopsis and blooming Phalaenopsis or moth orchids that people look for online. So this video is ideal for beginners, for people that just bought that orchid, that first orchid, and maybe you're scared that your plant will not rebloom or you don't know how to make this plant to bloom again for you in the next season or this season or if you have no idea what's going on with your Phalaenopsis orchid I will explore some of the questions and some of the solutions for those I hope you enjoy it if you do and if you want to have beautiful Phalaenopsis blooms stay here with me and let's start how do I get my orchid to bloom again for me? That's a very good question. And when we start to grow orchids, we never know if they will rebloom. When the beautiful flowers that I have here now, when they fade, especially when someone gives you an orchid from a supermarket, or you went to a garden center and you got yourself your first orchid, then suddenly these blooms, they start to fade one by one. And you look to this spike here and you question yourself, is my orchid still alive? What is going to happen to my orchid when these will bloom again? So there are a few things that you can do. One of them that we'll find many things on the internet and on the websites as well, that you can definitely go to the, this flower spike. You can down very close to a node of the spike and you can cut it a few centimeters above it. And then if you have like a drop in temperature, these nodes will likely to push out a secondary spike and will bloom for you again. So if you want to try, especially if you're new, if you're a beginner to grow an orchid, I can, you can definitely do it. It might rebloom, it might not, but what I can guarantee you is if the blooms faded and if you decided to cut the flower spike towards the base of your orchid in the next season when the temperature drops Phalaenopsis are seasonal plots so they will push flower spikes when the temperature drops a little bit between autumn and winter so these plants will push out a new flower spike and will rebloom for you it will happen if your plant is healthy if you are offering some light to your plant although they like moderate light but they appreciate to have some bright light to grow healthily so if your plant has nice roots and nice leaves offering light fertilizing your plant will definitely rebloom in the next season so the next question is do orchids come back to life after flowers fall off and you probably know the answer already because i already answered that in my in the previous question but yeah they do they are not dead when they lose their flowers. If your orchid is healthy, if it has leaves, good roots, it's in a good potty mix, and if you keep it in a, in a maybe in a filtered light position, offering it the same temperature that you have inside your room or your house, probably your plant will rebloom in the next season. Question three: Do orchids bloom on old stems? And the answer is yes, orchids bloom on old stems. Not all orchids, but Phalaenopsis orchids, they will finish blooming in this stem. And then maybe one of the nodes here will push out a new flower spike, as I said before, and they can rebrand and they keep blooming for you. That's amazing for people that like secondary brands and likes to have flowers for many, many, many months. They can keep blooming for three months, four months, some orchids will have almost a an year, full year of reblooming seasons. You can definitely try that if you have one orchid and you don't mind. You mind waiting for the next season. You can leave your plant being and producing, keep pushing out secondary spikes. As I said before, I prefer to cut mine out, but that's a personal choice. Oh, but before I go to the next question, if you notice that your plant is unhealthy, I will leave some videos down below talking about Phalaenopsis orchid and all the signs that your plant is unhealthy. In that case specifically, I would remove the flower spike. I would not wait for it to re to rebrand to branch on the old flower spike because we will prioritize the health of our plants instead of blooming. 
So just to let you know, as a caveat here, next question. Question number four, do you think or kids grow back? <laughs> Some people think that when the flower spike is gone and the orchid lost all of its blooms, that these orchids might not be alive anymore. There are people that even threw this plant away because they think that the plant is gone. It's blooming, not blooming anymore. And it doesn't have any value, but it will grow back. Believe me, if you look after your plant properly, offer it some water, a bright space in your house, and then wait for the next season. It's like a miracle. They will come and I can guarantee you healthier your plant is you're gonna have even more and more beautiful flowers. How often do Phalaenopsis orchids bloom? So, as I said in the beginning, and I might not be repeating, or I might be repeating again and again, these plants, they are seasonal plants, which means that usually they will produce a spike and they will bloom in one specific season. And for Phalaenopsis, is when the temperature drops a little bit in nature. That's how the species understand that it's their time to re-bloom. So, this plant in London, that's where I live, when it's autumn to summer, no, autumn to summer, oh my gosh, where am I? When it's autumn to winter, these plants will understand the temperature is dropping and they will start spiking. So, most of them will bloom once a year if we are respecting the natural cycle. However, if you live in a country where we have multiple drops in temperature, for example, we had a differentiation between night temperature and day temperature for maybe a few weeks. Some of these hybrids, they will push out a flower spike so easily. Some of them, as I said before, they can rebranch, so they can branch out from the main spike. And that can happen for many months. So you can have a Phalaenopsis orchid blooming and reblooming for three, four months, for example. If you are counting out, they, they can actually rebranch from the main spike. However, as I said as well in the beginning, the most important thing for you to have beautiful blooms is to have a healthy plant. So, try to water your plant when the roots are gray. Try to offer it some bright space. Fertilize it properly. Place it in a nice area in your house. Then, even if your plant's not blooming now, I'm sure it will bloom soon and you'll be able to enjoy its beautiful, beautiful flowers. Don't throw them away <laughs> just because they are not blooming, just to let you know. And that were some of the most popular questions out there. Let me know if you have a wonder some of these about your Phalaenopsis orchids or about your orchids in general. Let me know if you want me to talk about any other genera of orchids. For now, Phalaenopsis are at least where I live. The most affordable ones, the easier one for us to find nearby. So <laughs> that's it. That's everything. I hope you keep happy growing your plants and enjoying the beautiful blooms and the beautiful foliage and aerial roots that these plants provide for us. I hope to see you soon. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel to see more orchid content. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.